Hey guys, Cooking with Stacy here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I achieve this perfect medium roast beef seasoned with herbs and spices. If you are new here, welcome and for those who are returning, welcome back. To see how I make this perfect roast beef, keep on watching. The cut of beef I'm roasting is a top round roast. Top round is a less expensive cut of beef, but if cooked the right way, will turn out perfect and juicy every time. I have already measured out the herbs and spices which I have here. I will list everything you see here along with the amount I'm using down below in the description bar. First thing I'm going to be doing is blend all the seasoning together. Then I'm going to drizzle a bit of olive oil all over the beef before I add the seasoning. This helps the seasoning to stick really well to the meat. Rub a generous amount of seasoning on the beef, making sure to get all the sides. Don't be afraid to roll the beef around to pick up as much of the seasoning as possible. Allow that to sit and marinate for at least 20 to 30 minutes as besides marinating this allows the meat to come down to room temperature. I like to sear the beef on all sides before roasting as this caramelizes the surface and gives a beautiful crust which helps to keep the juices in and it also enhances the flavor. As this is a leaner cut of meat with no fat on the outside, I'm going to go ahead and add some oil to a frying pan and allow that to get sizzling hot before adding the beef. Brown the meat on all sides, then place the roast on a wire rack inside a shallow baking tray. Place in a 325 degrees preheated oven and roast until an instant thermometer reads 135 degrees. Or you can calculate the cooking time at 20 minutes for each pound. This is approximately a four pound roast, so I will roast it for an hour before removing it from the oven. Once the cooking time in the oven is up, now it's time to rest the roast covered with foil paper for about 15 to 20 minutes. This allows the juices to redistribute throughout the meat and also allow the meat to continue cooking. Do avoid piercing or cutting into the meat during the cooking or resting period as the juices will seep out and make the meat tough. Now that I've rested the meat for 20 minutes, I'm going to insert a thermometer into the thickest part of the meat to check for my desired doneness, which is 140 degrees. Once the beef has reached your desired doneness, transfer the beef to a carving board using a very sharp knife to slice thinly across the grain, which will make the slices even more tender. You may serve this with mashed potatoes, roast potatoes, or any side of your choice. The leftovers are excellent to make sandwiches or add to salad. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoy food videos as much as I do, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so, so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Until next time, bye guys.